Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high We left uh, Murray, Kentucky this morning, or actually just a little bit uh, south of Murray, Kentucky is where, where Jail, Janelle lives, uh, closer to New Concord, Kentucky, which is just a few miles north of the border of Tennessee. So we left there around 8 a.m. this morning, got about six hours driving in and we're stopping for the night right at the base of the Smoky Mountains near Asheville, North Carolina, in Maggie Valley which is a beautiful area right at the base of the Smoky Mountains. And we're gonna go to the elevated distillery. Is it elevated? Elevated. Elevation? I thought it was ele it elevated. We'll find out. It's either, we'll let you know. We'll have a wager on it. Whoever loses gots to take an extra shot. Gots to? Gots to take an extra shot, y'all. say that it's elevation. <laughs> Whoever loses. It's elevated. She says elevation. I think it's because she wants an extra shot of moonshine. They have whiskey, moonshine, and uh, vodka. and vodka. We're gonna check it out. Hopefully, get a tour, and then we're gonna uh, basically boondock here in this church tonight, and then head out in the morning and head towards Rock Hill, South Carolina. We'll meet up with some uh, some friends for breakfast, brunch, lunch somewhere in there and continue our journey to the Tampa area, Bushnell, Florida, on Saturday the 28th. Look at that, that's pretty. It is. So we're walking just a, maybe a thousand feet or so to uh, elevated here from Which the what I said. church elevated. that we talked. She claims that she said elevated, but she, she doesn't realize I have it on videos. Yeah. There it is, elevated. There it is up the way there and the other thing is uh, after we took the dogs out to go potty we realized our rig is tilted a little bit so that we're going to be sleeping with our heads elevated i thought that was pretty funny going to elevated spirits and we'll be sleeping with elevated heads she doesn't think it's quite as funny as i do my wristwatch is broken my shoes are untied Time is a ticking, and so is the tide. But I am not worried, things are what they are. Come rain or come shine. We got five products we make. Purchase of that H whiskey, purchase of Oak Reserve. Same whiskey, class of moonshine to the left, barrel age version to the right. 88 proof each. Hurricane Creeks are vodka. 80 proof cigar and spirit magazine ranked at the number two vodka in the world in february if you know vodka we're between kettle one and tito's which it's always great to beat tito's which is the number one selling spirit in america we have two flavors raymond fairchild root beer white lightning is root beer cream vanilla flavored at 70 we, proof we've had that okay that's delicious yeah, it is that's good. what we came here yes, for shining rock peach by moonshine's 50 proof peach hard whiskey 
We normally do tours, but, but depending on how the crowds are today, a lot of people want to do cocktails. So we're doing beer, wine, and cocktails. We're doing sort of a, if, if you want to, I'd be glad to give you like the one minute version of the tour. Okay. Um, awesome. We do flight some of our products, they're five bucks. Uh, basically, if you buy a bottle, you don't have to pay for the flight. Or one um, to buy a bottle. Okay, for every, one, for, okay I was going to say, for every, bottle, for every bottle you buy, it's one less flight you pay for. So we brought a couple we'll bottles, <laughs> okay. we'll give you samples. Great. Or, and we do beer, wine, and cocktails too. If you want to hang out and have a few drinks, that's cool too. You just want to do the samples and well, yeah. come on back. Well, we can, yeah. we can buy some cocktails too. Since we're not driving. Used to be a dinner theater. That's why the floor slopes like it does. This was a seating area. That was a stage. There was a basement under the stage. That's where the equipment sits today. It was about a five foot drop down to the basement floor. Puts the blue motors and maintains 11 feet in the air. It's 23 feet tall at the tallest point. So to make whiskey, you make beer, you take the alcohol. Whiskeys come from beers, brandies come from wine. Yeah, to make our wi our beer, our mash is what it's called technically. 600 gallons of water, 1,200, 12 pounds of corn goes in this vessel called a mash tine. Heat it up 190 degrees, 45 minutes. As we're cooling it down, we add 100 pounds of malted barley. Malted barley mainly puts the film in your throat, takes the burn out of this. Gives that a malted flavor, but it makes it a lot smoother. Steep that in, cool it to room temperature, add a couple of pounds of yeast. Goes in a square tank in the back to ferment for four days. Bubbles like mad for three days. On the fourth day, it stops bubbling. It's a beer at that point, 9% alcohol or 18 proof. Into the still pot it comes, corn and everything. Whiskey we distill twice, vodka seven times. The first time we're just stripping the alcohol out of the mash and getting rid of the mash. It goes back to the farm and cows love it. After that, every time you distill, it's called a spirit run. You're polishing up rough alcohol to make a final spirit. Stripping run, we heat it. Mash is in the pot, we heat it up. We skip all the fancy columns the first time to the very end. Last one's called a condenser. That's why it cools it down and turns it back to liquid. We get 160, 180 gallons of rough whiskey from 800 gallons of mash. We cook five mashes, make 4,000 gallons of mash, end up with about 900 gallons of that rough whiskey. We put it all back in the pot, clean it up and do the, the final, make the final whiskey. So the spirit run for whiskey, we use the column with four windows called a whiskey column. Basically it scrubs sulfur out of the whiskey. Sulfur is a rotten egg smell, so you're just taking a harshness out of whiskey. Yeah. Polish up through the column, back to the condenser. When we cool it down, we make three cups. Heads, hearts, and tails. So, so rough whiskey has a chemical smell in it. And heads, hearts, tails, we pull the chemicals apart and get whiskey. At 134 degrees, which is like a hot shower, acetone and methanol turns through. This is our heads. It smells like a fingernail polish remover. Oh, yeah. Nail salon. Yep. You wouldn't want to drink that. No. It's like the first day gallons to come out. Paint thinner, fingernail polish remover, acetone, all yeah. come from corn. Um, right mm. out of the big plants in the Midwest where they make ethanol to go in our cars. We get about eight gallons of that. We get about 350 gallons of the hearts or whiskey. So this is our whiskey at 157 proof. You'll try it at 88 proof. Wow. Sweet corn, a lot of liquor. It ends when we run into tails. This is a bitter oil called fusel oil. It smells like a wet dog. So when that starts showing up, we call it quits. <laughs> yeah. So that's whiskey. Vodka seven times distilled. Final spirit run the whiskey. Run the whiskey column. Add in the tall vodka column. Just 16 more of those copper plates scrubbing a lot more. The short guy's called a gin basket. Either y'all drink gin. I, not much. You've had it? Yeah, I've it's had it. It's got a pine needle taste. You put juniper berry in there to get the pine needle taste. A little citrus something, a little floral something. Vodka in the pot, you turn it to steam. As it steams through juniper berry, it steams the oil out of the berry, and that's the gin taste. Yeah, making gin or running vodka. Let's go get you some samples. The Dreamsicle. It's made with root beer, moonshine, and orange juice. That's very good. Wait, I <laughs> Bubba Ray and Ellie Mae. Bubba Ray and Ellie Mae. I only saw I, one I, when we first I closed came the in. door over there because if Ellie Mae's outside, she'll end up at the front door in the next few minutes. Me, Alan. So how long has Elevated been here? Two and a half years. This 
one's friendly. Bubba Ray? Bubba Ray's friendly. Kelly Mae's not. Kelly Mae. So there's a bunch of rides around here. And I think we got a brochure up front that gives you some ideas. Um, there's a lot of cool rides. And I would tell you, if you're coming to ride, you want to stay in Maggie. One, because Will's through times here. It's just awesome. Yeah, but if you stay in Asheville, some rides become an hour and a half away. If you stay in Bry Bry Bryson City, they become an hour. If you're in Maggie Valley, almost everything's 45 minutes from here. So it's just an easy get to. The, the big ride's called Tail of the Dragon. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that they live on. They, they, yeah, live, they on live on Tail of the Dragon. Okay, it's 45 yeah. minutes from here. <clears throat> 300, if I remember, it's 319 curves and 11 Something miles. Like it's yeah. just, yeah. What, what's your name? Dave. Dave. Yeah. Brad. Brad. And my wife, Christina. Nice, nice to meet you, Christina. Yeah. And what did you do before this? What made you, what, I, tell us the story about what came up. I, I learned to do this when I was 14. So it's something I've been around my whole life, um, just fascinated with it. And uh, I was an HR executive in the real world. So I did that for 30 years and just, my last boss was the, devil's left-hand henchman and I just hated working for him I said yeah I just I'm done doing this so it was time to come home my wife and I are both from here and so after two and a half years how's it been is it hitting your goals is it yeah it's, it's a little bit of a roller coaster some months are better than others and some months are like oh crap and then the next month it takes care of itself and but being able to serve cocktails in Houston. We couldn't serve cocktails till September. Breweries and wineries in North Carolina can serve beer, wine, and cocktails. But when distilleries apply, they're like, no, 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 you're a distillery, you can't do that. I was like, what's the difference? And it took them years to decide, you know, there's really no difference, is there? This is a huge change for us. So tomorrow night, we have karaoke. Yeah, we saw, yeah, we that. saw that. We saw that we were coming through. Yeah, we'll have 40, 60 people here tomorrow night for karaoke. Saturday food night, truck. yeah, food truck. Yeah. Saturday night, we have, so when you leave, Walking back over, look at our patio area here that's lit up. That's, we'll park the food truck out back, and in the summer, we'll have a bunch more of these tables out there on the patio area. The Saturday night, we have um, a bluegrass jam. What about distribution? Are you are you pretty much southeast, or are you all across the nation? We only distribute across North Carolina at the moment. Really? I'm, I'm hoping the state will... I've seen will... your ad somewhere. I'm so well, we've been in several it. national magazines, okay. so like... Um, it was an Airbnb article that was about us. We've been in the... Um, Are you in the Airbnb magazine? We were in Airbnb magazine. That's where I year. saw you. We do, we do an okay. Airbnb yeah. around the house in St. Louis. Yeah, we yeah, we were in Airbnb magazine. So, <laughs> Elevated Distillery is a must-see if you're in Maggie Valley or if you're going on Interstate 40 through or the Smoky Nashville. Mountains. You might as well take the 10-mile detour because it's... Nashville? Cool. Asheville. Asheville. No end. Asheville. Yeah. Maggie Valley, Elevated Distillery, you got to go there. The owner is fantastic. I just had a great time. So we're wrapping it up, going to the Brick House Burgers and Pizza. So tomorrow we will continue on to South Carolina, visit with my friend Mark Hendrickson, and then uh, continue our journey to Bushnell, Florida, and hook up with uh, Don and Neilia, who we met last year in Corpus Christi.